Alright, hello this is, this is Mr. Crozier. I'm going to give you some help on problem 3 and 6 from our first worksheet on um, Riemann sum summation notation. Alright, problem number 3 asks us to find the area from 0 to 2 of this function with 13 right rectangles. So I have that right there, made a graph of it. I'm going to put it on my calculator too. There's the graph. Uh, let's just hit zoom standard, good. And there's the graph. And we're going to graph from uh, 1 to 2, find that area. So if I hit second, calculate um, 7, minimum 0 for the lower upper bound, 2. It's going to shade it in right there and give us that area. And that area is 4 exactly. But again, that's not what we're going for. We're not going for that 4 exactly. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, the next thing we want to do is identify what this delta x is. And that delta x is the width of every rectangle. So if I were to draw 13 rectangles in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 13 rectangles, the width of each rectangle, which is delta x, would be 2 divided by 13. So there's my delta x, and it's going to come in handy later. And if we are drawing these right rectangles, what you're going to notice is we're going to be a little bit higher than 4. So I can expect this answer down here to be higher than 4 when we're done. All right, let's take this, which is an integral, and we're going to turn it into this notation here. So this is going to sum up the rectangles from 1 to, um, we don't need to go to infinity, we're going to go to 13. So ready? It is the sum of 1 to 13. And what I always do is I always put my function here. My function is x cubed, and my dx is here, just like these two parts. And my function is x cubed, but I'm going to start counting x cubed at 0. And I'm going to add on a delta x each time. And I'm going to count that from 1 to 13 and thirds. So there's that function. And that comes from right here where it's a plus the delta k. In this one, it's k. We usually use i most of the time. And then times my delta x is 2 thirteenths. Now it's done. It's written as a summation. Now we just need to use our summation rules, simplify this down, use all of these rules down here to count it, and see what we have. So let's just clean this up a little bit. 0 plus this is just 2 thirteenths. Everything cubed, uh, that would be 8 over 13 cubed would be 2197. i cubed times 2 thirteenths. Again, multiply that in there. We have the sum of 16 over 28,581 i cubed. Now let's separate it. Uh, let's pull this constant out to the front. Um, summation i cubed going from 1 to 13, my formula. Now I can use this i cubed formula, which is right there. Um, that would be 16 over 28561 times 13 cubed, 14 or squared, sorry, divided by 4 squared. And if you run that through your calculator, you will get 4.6391, which is, like we said, going to be larger than that area of 4 because we've done right Riemann sums and it's increasing so we have all of those little extra gaps on the right. That's how you do these problems. Those are the steps you want to run through every time. Let's go ahead and do one that's a little bit more challenging. Problem number six. Same exact problem. We're going to run through the same steps. We have an area here which is a parabola facing downward. We're going to go from 1 to 5, find the area, 32 rectangles, so my delta x is 4 is my width, but I'm going to divide that 4 up into 32 times. So that's going to be 1 eighth if I reduce it, that's the width of each rectangle. 
And now look, if I divide these rectangles up and I'm doing right Riemann sums from the right side, what you're going to notice now is these rectangles fall underneath this curve. On the last one, this curve's going up, so the rectangles are over it, and this one, the rectangles are going down, so it's under it. So when I put this on my calculator, let's see here, um, y is equal to y is equal to a negative x squared um, plus 40. Uh, it goes up quite a bit, so I'm going to hit window and bump this all the way up to 50. And when I graph this, there's that downward facing parabola. Uh, second calc, I'm going to take the integral from 1 to 5. There's that area shaded in. That area is 118.6. However, all of my rectangles are now smaller than that, so I'm going to be a little bit under this. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the rectangles from 1 to 32. Again, I always put my function up here so I don't lose track of it. And I always put the, this in brackets. And here we go. It's minus, but what is my x? I'm starting at 1, and I'm adding on 1 eighth i each time. And that's being squared. And then I'm adding my 40. So everything lines up. Parentheses, or sorry, negative there's my x, that's being squared, plus 40, and then dx is 1 8th. Now we have it in a summation formula. You could, if you wanted to see this answer, I put an online checker in the classroom, but you could just hit math 0 and type that in right there, and your calculator will do all the work for you, but we need to know how to do it ourselves. So here we go, let's simplify this. Well, this is 1 plus i squared, so just FOIL that, and if you FOIL that, let's see here, you'd still have this negative out here, but that'd be 1, and then at the back it'd be 1 64th with an I, and that would be 1 8th and 1 8th, so that'd be 2 8th, that would be 1 4th, I, whoops, don't forget about that 40, that's easy to do, plus 40, one eighth. Let's run that negative through there just to clean it up. Um, it's real easy to lose track of stuff so you have to be extremely careful on these. Um, why don't we put this with that? Let's see here that would be a negative one fourth i minus, oh, this is i squared right there, Minus 164 i squared plus 39 times 1 eighth. And here's where I like to just put stuff in order. I'm going to distribute this into all of them, but I like to put this one first. So that's a negative uh, 512 i squared. And then um, this times that one be a negative 132i, then this one times that one is 39 over i. Now let's just separate it, negative 1, 5, 12, sum of i squared minus 132, sum of i's plus the sum of those. Now we use our formulas, now we use our formulas for the i squared and the i's. And uh, i squared would be 32 times 33 times 65 over 65 minus 1 32nd, 32 times 33 divided by 2 plus 32 times 39 over 8. If you do this math, it's a negative 22, 3, 4, 3, 8. Go ahead and round to 4 on these is fine. Minus 16.5 plus 156. 156 minus, minus, comes out to be 117.1562. And just like we said, the exact area up here is 118. If we do 32 rectangles in there, we have those little tiny missing pieces, which means the area we come up with is 117. 
0.1562. All right, again, the, the plan is rewrite it as a Riemann sum. After you rewrite it, this one has a lot of simplification. This is probably as much as we do, but it has all of this simplification to get down to counting up those rectangles. 117.1562 for the area.